so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you something better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? So many women, baby, why you... All right, we are here again. Listen, I'm going to ask old lady another question. All right? So just because it, it feeds into our... Our life right now, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm about to take my old lady on a date. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to take her to the movies. So what I'm about to ask her is: Is the movies cliche to ask to take a girl on a date? Is it whack? No. You no. sure? Because it, like, I, I mean, that ain't original. You know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not, that's not original. You know, really I should like rent out a room and get a painter and put the paint on the ground. And then we make paint with our bodies. And then you can say, Oh, he different. Like something like that. So is, is a, is a movie like it's whack. It's old school. It's definitely old school. Um, but going to the movies simulates what we would do if we were older and just in each other's company. Right. So if we're like cuddled up at home or, you know, we're older and we can sit next to each other and enjoy something together, that's what the movies represent to me. Like, can I stomach you <laughs> without talking? Cause right. when we're talking to each other, that usually invokes some type of emotion or response. But what happens when it's awkward and it's like, you're sitting next to each other. It's looking crazy. Like, look at- so, so if I pull up to the movies and be like, you got your ticket money, is that an issue? Mm-hmm. I mean, or, you know, I ain't got it, right? You know what I'm saying? So can is, is, can you pay for the ticket? Yes. I, you know, I'm, um, I'm going to give you guys a little secret that I do. In all of my relationships, all of them, how I get the guy always pay for everything after our first date is I pay for the first date. You did that to me. Yeah. So like when I, when I met Sean, I offered to pay for his meal. We went to a nice, um, God, what was that? Uh, a nice restaurant in Salt Lake city, downtown Salt Lake city. It was the little America. Yeah. They have a really nice cafe. It was very nice. Very, very nice. Cafe. I felt special. And I said, you know, order whatever you want. He was like, Whatever I want, I said, or anything off the menu. And then since she paid, I couldn't, I couldn't ask her for the butt now because it's like I didn't pay for it. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you owe me. I can't even do that. Yeah. So I was scared she's gonna take my booty. Man, I was like, oh, hold on, you know nothing happens at this, right? Like, <laughs> don't think that just because you bought me the little meal, you are gonna get some sweet thing. Ain't gonna happen. See how we just flipped the script? Yeah, like, yeah. Because <laughs> now it's worries. He's like, oh, you want to go? No, I'm good. I'm gonna take it into the house. Like, don't try to. I know what you're doing. Yeah, I definitely did that. That I, was an expensive meal too. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, it gets some every time. I pay for it. And then naturally a man is like, oh my God, it was so nice. I never had someone do that. And then wrapped around the thing. And she gets the butt. And it's like, (laughs) no, no, you don't. And she tried to grab my cheeks and I move. I'm like, no, no, you don't. I got to go. Goodbye. (laughs) Thank you. Like all of a sudden I'm touching. (laughs) Right. Yeah. yeah, So it was nice seeing you. (laughs) What the hell going on? All on my knee and stuff. So I smooth start. I left for two weeks so she couldn't get in. You know what I'm saying? Because that was my move. I was I wasn't in one place. So I do the two week joint and try to stretch it out. Cause she was trying to get me, dog. I'm be real with you. She was trying to get my cheeks, and I was like, no, I'm not that kind of person. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> but no, I mean like the movies. It's nostalgic. Um, you guys have lost the art of going to the movies. Right. Um, we went back. We were so excited because we haven't yeah. been there in so long. Yeah. First movie we're going to see. Well, the first movie we went to see was Batman. Yes. The new Batman that came out. The movie we're about to go see today is drum roll. I actually have a drum roll on here. Hold on. That's not the drum roll. Hold on. Okay. We'll do this one. We're going to see more BS. So. That's a whole nother situation we're going to talk about when we get back. And yeah. this time, can you not be tired so we actually can do it? I promise. 
Thank for you. you guys. Yeah. Because well, I'm like an old lady now, so I'm usually sleepy around about 7.42 p.m. She's Any cuddly around time. 5, sleepy so. around 7, incoherent at 9.30. And yeah. 10 is just a dead body in the house. <laughs> so... He puts his finger underneath my nose to make sure I'm alive. Like, so what type of thing you think if I was to, let's say I was single, right? Yeah. And 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 I, I'm new in the city, mm-hmm. and I go try to bag one of these new joints now, the new generation, Chuck, and I hit him where I take you to the movies. You think it would get anywhere? No, it won't. And and that's the unfortunate thing about it because um, I got to type my game up, damn. Yeah, well, you know, we we can blame Netflix Netflix and chill. When that became a thing, it was like, okay, well, you have two types of people now. You have a person that's like, why would I spend the money? You could just come to the crib and, you know, do what you do. But oh, then, you think she's going to try and sex with me? Yeah. I, well, okay, so the second portion would be a person will feel like a movie does not showcase enough grandeur or enough, you know, interest for today's woman. Today's woman, you know, you have to spend two, three, four hundred dollars to take them on a date on this interview process, right? And so the movies, the thing about women is women like to talk. So if I can't talk to you, I can't gauge if I want to see you or not. The movies does not allow a person to really gauge. So she going to try to get me to go to her house or my house to sit in the Netflix and chill. No, that's not what I mean. And what then I'm try saying. to get my sexual organ. No, what I'm saying is Netflix and chill. It's frowned upon from women. Because it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap and, and women know that. So break down know. what I need to do then. So, okay, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, okay at my current income level. Okay. We hit the Waffle House, bop, get that out of the way. <laughs> That's what, $20. <laughs> you feel me? Then she can ride in the big truck because I got a nice truck. You know what I'm saying? I got 10 on it and all that, woody, woody, woo. I still got to put a sound system in it, so don't mind the busted speaker. I got to get that taken care of. Then I top it off with the movies, right? Bam, take her to the movies. Matinee, because it's a weekday. right? Well, no, I ain't weekday right now. I got to pay full price. We're going to talk about me. I got to take you tomorrow. But matinee, matinee. $8 off the riggedy. You can get popcorn and a drink or candy and a drink. Not both. <laughs> okay? Not both. We go in there, eat. After that, woody, woody, woo. I'm thinking I pull her up to the house. I drop her off. Hit her with the little eye, ah, kiss on the cheek. You know, I'm really feeling you and all that. Gucci. That's throwback. That was my go-to move back in the day. That was a slam dunker. Whole night, $47. You think I was last in the dating world now? Baby, it's one word. It's called inflation. <laughs> it, just, it just ain't the same. Okay, well, $47, that was a good day. No. And I used to smoke drugs back then, so I had a little blunt right there. You know, you smell like I figured you wanted to smoke when we had the movies, you know what I'm saying? What? I mean, listen, back in the day, I see nothing wrong with it. I mean, that was a good chill time. Perfect date. But now, you know, everybody bums have standards now. I don't want no food. Give me money. Yeah. It's just, you know, like I said, the thing about the movies today is that women like to gauge the date. Gauging means conversation. There's usually no conversation during the movies. So that is why the movies is never a good date for today's modern woman. So, but that forty-seven, I could boost it up to sixty dollars. Like we we can go to Applebee's. Do you realize that women today, when you say let's go on a date, right? A woman will say either they want you to pick the place mm. or they'll pick the place. They already did the research. 